This is the Mini Pro programmer. I've waited over three weeks for this, and it's time to open up the pack. Now that's interesting. No box, but uh, everything seems to be there, which is good. Okay, so I was expecting it in a box, but it's all there, I think. I'm probably saved on postage costs. Little CD ROM with the drivers on, but you get up to date versions online anyway, so I probably won't be using that. Came with a USB lead, wasn't expecting that, that's nice. Mm, okay. The programmer itself. It's actually got a good weight to it. TL866CS. I didn't need the A version. So that's it. Interesting that these don't have the pins. Okay, so that's that. Let's go plug it in. Okay, just downloading the software now. There we go. Oh, D, what's it going for D? What's in D? Can you use D, you see? There we go. Ah. Okay, so we've got the software. Now, open up the lead. It's a good length. Put that into the side. Okay, let's see. Will it go up in flames and or smoke? No. Okay. Flashes a light and please reflash fireware. Fireware. Mm. Ah, reflash fireware successful. The device is now connected to the computer. The power light is on. Now we need to stick some ICs in. I am back with an EEPROM with single E. It's a single E EEPROM. The erasable, but not electronically erasable. So this is a TMS. 27C128. Let's see if we've got it. So, we just click on the name and we just start typing in. So, 27C128. Well, that narrows it down. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Put in TMS, it narrows it down quite a bit. So, TMS 27C128 and dip 28. That's what we want. So, select that. Okay, so I'll just put that in furthest to the right or up to me. Yeah. So, there. Lock it in. Read from chip. Ooh, that was quick and it worked. Nice. Just wondering whether it's got any strings in it. Oh, there was something there. Nosy on copyright 1988-1989 by Flyde Microsystems Limited. Interesting, and the rest of it. Is blank. Oh no, there isn't. Okay. Oh, there's patterns of something. Misread that. It's not flied, it's filed. F fi filed -E. Oh no. F Y L D E. Okay, this next device I've just looked up is a static RAM chip. So we can't actually read what's on it, but we can give it a test. Now it has a generic 6116 device that it knows about and this is a Hyundai 6116 ALP so it's a 6116 we'll you know, give it a go so pop it in give it a test okay test result is normal can't think of anything else Ooh, idea Okay, and I've just taken off the chip from one of my creations. It's an 80 mega 328p, the same chip that's used in the Arduino. So, I've got it set on there. Surprisingly, it has it. And I'll just pop it in. See what it'll do. Okay, so we'll tell it to read. Nice. Not expecting anything too interesting. Hmm, most of it's blank. Yeah. My program was small anyway. Configuration. Ooh. Now this has got all the little configuration fuses. I don't know what it means by that. Okay, so it has the brownout level detection on one. What if I save it? I'll just give it a quick save. And then. Okay, and I'll, I'll read it first in case I've changed something. So I'll just save it over that. Okay, so I've saved it over that. Let's erase it. More ho 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 ho. Oh, that was quick. Let's give it a read. Oh wow, it is actually blank on there. Now what happens if I put it in my little creation that I've taken it from? Okay, as expected, it didn't work. A quick read. Okay, that is blank. There's a blank check on here actually. And it says device is blank. Okay. Let's open it up. Let's, ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. That seems to be how it was. So that's now program. Give it a read. Yep, yeah, okay. I, I guess that's it. So I'll take it out and see if it works. 
Okay, as expected, it works. If I hold down the button and reset it, it beeps like that. But it seems to do it straight away. I might have just um, got rid of the bootloader and it goes straight to the program. If so, I will have to reburn the bootloader, which is fine, but that was a quick look at the Mini Pro TL866 programmer, the CS version. Now, I didn't get a chance to have a look at this because I don't actually have anything to use that with. That's the same with these. That, that, and that. I have no use for them yet. Maybe I will at a later date. But that's all for now. During the making of this, I spilt lemonade over my phone. Still works though. There we go. <laughs> over the front, it's a bit sticky, but it still works, which is good.